All right, so in Google BigQuery, when you try to uh, save a result set to a CSV file on your PC or locally, uh, you can only save up to around 16,000 records. So for example, um, here I have this uh, uh, SQL query. All right, so if I run the uh, query, it's going to return uh, 19,941 rows. And if I try to save the uh, result set as a CSV file locally, it's going to give me this uh, notification. Only the uh, first 16,000 rows will be saved. Now a workaround to save all the records. So this method will be able to uh, save all the uh, records. So first, we need to create a bucket in Google Cloud Storage. All right, so let me go back to the uh, tab. So I create a bucket called uh, BigQuery Export Demo. And this is basically equivalent to a folder. Now I want to grab the bucket's name. And if you want to save the file uh, in your subdirectory, then you will need to uh, basically grab the uh, folder path. All right, so for the folder path, it's going to be uh, the uh, bucket name. All right, so on the top of the uh, SQL query, we want to insert the export data options function or feature. So inside the export data options uh, feature, we're going to uh, specify the cloud storage URI. And it's going to be GS colon forward slash forward slash followed by the storage uh, folder's name or folder's path. And for the file name, we need to uh, insert the wildcard symbol, the uh, CSV. So unfortunately, you cannot name the file. At least I haven't found a way or workaround to uh, be able to name the file. And from the documentation, we need to uh, use the wild sign or the wildcard symbol as the file name. However, you can uh, insert a prefix. So for example, if I want to name the file as uh, file XYZ, then when I export the file, the file name is going to be uh, file XYZ followed by the uh, ID assigned to this result set. All right, so next we need to uh, specify the file format and it's going to be CSV. So if you want to save the uh, file as different file format, such as JSON, uh, pocket. I forgot how to uh, pronounce the name correctly. Or oh, even uh, AVL, which is a file format used by Hadoop. And we insert all the uh, file formats. And you can uh, specify the file format here. Also, have the option to uh, specify form to override the existing file if the file name is going to be the same using the override uh, property. I'm going to set this to two. Next, we need to uh, specify whether or not if the uh, table contains the headers or if we want to export the headers, sorry. And it's going to be true. And lastly, we need to uh, set the uh, delimiter using the field delimiter property. And it's going to be a comma. And at the end, we need to type us followed by the uh, SQL query. All right, so here we have a typo. And this should be header, not headers. And this should be uh, field delimiter. So this is going to be uh, the script to export the result set to the uh, Google Cloud Storage. Now I'm going to run the query. Use the shortcut, Control Enter. All right, so here uh, we're getting this uh, successfully exported uh, 19,941 rows into one file's uh, message. Now, if I go back to my cloud storage, and if I refresh the page, and here's the CSV file. And just to uh, quickly to make sure that we're getting all the records from the uh, SQL query, so I'm going to save the file and just to make sure that we're getting everything back. All right, so here's the uh, CC file. Now, if I go to the last row in this table, 
and here the last row ends as 19,942. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.